are stressed or going through difficult times, it can be really easy for us to get a tape that goes in our head and we just play it over and over again, and our thought patterns become all about the negative, what we're troubled about, what's bothering us, what's stressing us out, and we can really lose track and lose sight of perspective of the things that are happening that are good in our lives as well. So gratitude exercises can help us reset that. Now this can be really important and helpful in the evening at the end of a long day. If you're struggling with overnight having nightmares or difficult sleeping because you're thinking about all of the bad things that are happening, sometimes a gratitude exercise right at the end of the day can help you consolidate your thoughts and mind around the positive things, around things that you do have to be grateful for, and help allow your brain to release and relax from the stressful things and the difficult things, at least for a little while. It's just good overall for your perspective and for your mindset. And so I really encourage you to try some of the gratitude exercises and see if any of them fit for you, if they work for you. As always, with all of our exercises, remember to try to practice them at least five times because at first it might be a little unfamiliar or a little weird to try them the first couple of times. And then as you get into the rhythm of it, it gets a little more comfortable and you get a little more used to it. And I think you'll find the benefits grow and increase over time. Gratitude can be useful for so many things. It can help us overcome feelings of discouragement, feelings of disappointment, feelings of depression, of hopelessness, of jealousy, feelings of envy, and feelings of self-pity. It really can help reset how we're thinking and our mindset on so many levels. gratitude, we are intentionally acknowledging our blessings, the things that we have, the good that's around us, the people that we love, the people who love us, our privileges, our opportunities, and so much more. It is focusing our mind, it is focusing our thoughts, it is focusing our emotions on the things that we do have to be thankful for and grateful for. excellent way to end an evening, maybe before you go to bed, is to consider a gratitude daily journal. Each day, record an entry of some experience or event that you are grateful for. If there's something that occurred in that day, record that. Now, it can be a couple of sentences or a whole page, whatever you want to share about that day and what makes you grateful for that experience. And if you can't think of something from a specific day, record a past memory experience that you're grateful for. It's really great to consolidate the memories of things you're grateful for before you go to sleep and allow your mind to be thinking about those things as you enter into rest. Gratitude lists can be excellent. Sometimes you're just not in the mood to journal and some people just don't like to journal at all. So this is a good alternative that will still allow you to really record those things that you're grateful for. So you might make a list of experiences that you're grateful for. Did somebody say something nice to you? Did you get an affirmation or a validation or a compliment? Did you get to do something that really fed your soul and was really pleasant and enjoyable? Maybe you remember an experience, a trip or a time with somebody you cared for, something that was really fun that you're remembering from your childhood or from last year. So you list those experiences out. One time you might want to list the people you're grateful for. Maybe these are family members, friends, people who have helped you in your life, people at church, people at work. So you're just listing out the people you're grateful for. You can do a different list each time that you sit down, that's fine. You might do a list, the same list, but it'll look a little different several days in a row. You might list the blessings that you're grateful for. Are you grateful for the sun and for flowers? Are you grateful for love and for hope and for the peace that you experience, for opportunities? You might list the things in your surroundings that you're grateful for. Are you grateful for beauty? Are you grateful for the time that you can be at the lake and that you can see the lake or the ocean or the mountains? Are you grateful for where you get to live or some of the things that you have that make your life a little easier and better? So a gratitude list, you can do a different one each time 
You could put it on frilly paper or just in a little notebook or on a white pad, whatever you want. I just want to encourage you to consider making a gratitude list an option for a way that you can record how you're thankful for and consolidate those thankful memories and thoughts into your mind and into your heart. One of my absolute favorite strategies for expressing gratitude is gratitude notes. So it's writing regular notes to other people, letting them know that you are grateful for them or for what they've done for you. It's making a written record of your gratitude for others to share in. Now it's super nice when people tell you that they're thankful for you or they're grateful for what you've done for them, but it's extra special to get it in writing. So you can do this by writing it old school, put a stamp on a note card, send it in the mail on a postcard or whoever you want, or maybe you want to put a, a post-it note on your roommate's desk, or you want to hand us a little handwritten note to the RA or to one of the people here on campus that has meant a lot to you. Maybe you want to send an email or a text message or a social media message, but you're writing it out, you're making the effort, and it's something that they can go back to and they can see a couple of times to be encouraged. And I think it's just a really great opportunity for you to benefit from expressing gratitude and to let other people benefit from it as well. Gratitude exercises are about helping us put things in perspective. It's not about us pretending that everything is rosy or good all the time or not acknowledging the things that are difficult or that we are struggling with, but it's about reminding us that there are things even in the darkest situations, even in the most difficult and stressful times that we can be thankful for and that we can remember and focus on and give ourselves a little bit of perspective in all of that. 